So the Apple IIc is a neat microcomputer, but there's some limitations in terms of um, how you output video to modern systems. Uh, if you look in the back, you've got a specialized video connector and then a standard um, composite adapter. Now, the composite adapter, plug this in here, will work, but it's not the clearest. It also has issues of stability. If, if I mess around a little bit with it, it it's not always going to stay very clean. It requires a lot of fiddling with your TV to get anything close to a decent picture out of it. Um, now the video adapter is one used by very few computers. I think only this one uses this specific type of this adapter. It's the same kind of connector used as some of the Macintoshes, but I believe this one is different. So there are com there are monitors specifically built for the 2C, but um, they are tend to be monochrome. And if you're like me, the last thing you need is yet another computer-specific monitor taking up space in your shelves. So, there's this. The Apple IIc VGA connector. You see, you've got that specialized connector on here, a small little button for changing mode. And on the other side, you have a standard VGA and a composite out. Now, the composite out is kind of confusing, but from what I understand, you can use it both to output composite, just as you can standardly, or it can be used simply to output the audio, which seems kind of redundant because the Apple IIc has a speaker port here, but I guess um, this would be easier to wire things up if you need to just have them coming out the back rather than off the side. Um, as for the little button, this lets you switch between uh, a number of different modes, such as a color emulation, similar to what you'd get out of composite. Whoa, that flashes if I get too close, sorry. Um, various sorts of monochrome, just plain black and white and amber, green, things like that. Or similar modes but with scan line uh, emulation. So this device comes from A2 Heaven. It's um, Plamen Vasilyov. I probably am butchering that name. Uh, from Bulgaria who designed this. Um, it comes with the little box and a connector cable because while it looks like this you know, mail adapter should just fit straight into here. That's not actually the case. There's not enough room. Um, it kind of looks like it may have at some point been designed to do that, but no. This little male to female adapter lets you connect it up. Um, it also comes with a little piece of paper saying to get the manual, go to a2heaven.com, but unfortunately it's not there yet. So I will hook this up and show you the results. So I've hooked it up now, and you can see on this LCD, you get a very clean, crisp output. Um, it connects no complications whatsoever. It doesn't require a separate power supply. I'm outputting separately to the composite so that you can see. I'll try to get one without it flashing. Well, a little bit of flashing there. So it looks like there, up there. Now, like I said, you can change, using this button, change the type of output it makes. So this is first one, you can go to green monochrome, white monochrome, another sort of white, a couple other sorts of white monochrome, green, amber, another color, I believe this is with scan lines, yes, this is scan line emulation, if you look up close, you can see there, um, I don't know how that looks if you plug it into an actual CRT with scan lines, but yeah, basically you have the same sets of different monochromes. So you can play around with that and find the one that best fits whatever game or program you're trying to run um, at the time. I don't recall if it remembers the state between runs. I wouldn't expect so. But yeah, just plugs directly into here. Very simple. Works very nicely. And I'll show you what's inside it in a moment. Now inside we have a very clean construction. There's really only two chips a um, FPGA and a half megabyte memory um, chip and it, from the wiring of the, uh, the pins on that memory chip it looks like we're not using all of it probably half megabyte was the cheapest um, my understanding and like I said there's no manual on A2 Heaven at the moment or at least not that I can find my understanding of this little switch is that you can change it and it will change this composite output from either being the direct composite output, like you would get from just the composite board, or if you switch it over, it will just be the audio. 
um, that comes off the system. So you can get that out that way. But yeah, very clean design. Um, at the moment, um, when I purchased this, uh, it cost $85 and then I think another 10 or so for shipping. Um, so I would highly recommend this to anyone with a 2C who doesn't have an original monitor, you know, a period accurate monitor and wants to be able to hook this up to modern systems. Very handy. Very nice little box. That's all.